everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are back today with Disciples Liberation. Uh, in the last episode, we ended up right over here. So I guess let's go to it. Around the jewel, a strange otherworldly light swirls. You feel anguish. Do not touch me, it begs. Touch me, it begs. Let's take it. You wrap the strange jewel in a cloth, careful not to let it touch bare skin. You are suddenly overwhelmed by sadness. You sense the death of a love, mourning, followed by rage, a desire to rip your skin from your flesh, then nothing. This is a tear shed by Selenial, the goddess of the life stream. I sense her somehow. Okay. So we got a new shard. I wonder if we can do something with that now. It's this one. It would give us uh, HP plus 50. What's this one do? Experience plus 10. I like the experience, though. If I could get another experience one, that would be great. Okay. And then we have some more boots. Uh, okay, so Dexterity 5, Physical Resistance 2. Okay, our Dexterity is 4 in those. Do I have anything better? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that's better. It'd give her Physical Resistance. Okay. I guess let's check and see if there's anything in here. Cause there are some corridors and whatnot. There's another book thing. Oh, that's the same book thing. Okay. All right, anything else down here? Down this way? Ah, yeah, things. We'll grab this. And then that one right there. Chainmail. Let's look. Constitution to physical resistance to... Now, I don't think we're going to find anything more than this. Uh, it is, I think, one of the, like, items that we got just, like, for, like, whatever s deluxe edition I had. Is there anything down here, though? Yes. And what's that? Okay, so gold. Did we go down all this way? Oh, what is this? Oh, seven. Level seven. Okay, we're just going to conquer you. And I got another thing. Constitution nine, that's not bad, but we, so we're still better than that. I wonder if I could sell some of these. Vicious Blade. We got another weapon. So that's the U. Power 10, Critical Chance 1. Okay, no, that's still better. Okay. Well. I guess let's go ahead and exit. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Because I can't get into the, the things. What's that? What are you doing? Oh, my resource, resource storage is full, so we need to go back home and sell some stuff. Okay, let's go back home.
All right, so let's look at our resources. Okay, how do I sell my resources? Where do I sell my resources? Marketplace? No, I need to sell resources. I know there's a way to do it. I've done it before. I just don't remember. Okay, our resources. Oh, like that. Okay. Okay. It's not selling. I actually have to gather them. Okay. And then it just like kind of puts them in this topic. We need some unholy essence. Because uh, we're not at, I think, the primal essence area yet. Okay, so let's actually look. I think our actually main quest wants us to move uh, out here. We do have this quest, but I can't get into those things. And I don't have any of those. So let's, I guess let's do this. And then we'll come back to the book. Okay, let's do that. People say that a second epoch was called the Epoch of Holenthoth, which means descent, but it's actually the third epoch. The second epoch was the lost epoch. Uh, let's look at the map. We head for... Okay, so I could... Oh, that's hard. So this one's normal. So let's go here. And we'll fast travel. Around you, scorched, arcane stone spines up from the ground like violent daggers. This place is not naturally forming, you think. But at the same time, you have no idea what purpose these structures serve. Charming place. Now, where to? Shurik's celebration of the Molten Moon's last decades. They say it's some kind of festival to make the Twin Moons align. Part of the festival is the crowning of a champion in the pits. I see where you're going with this. We're looking to rally people to join us in Ilion, and the people are looking for a champion. Actually, I was thinking, where there's a festival, there's a drink. Uh, fighting and drinking, fun, sure. Fighting and drinking. My two favorite hobbies united at last. Well, two of my three. Let's head out. Okay. Aviana's class. You are about to choose a new class for Aviana. Class determines the skills you can invest in across the various skill trees, but also what type of weapon you wield while fighting. Choose a class that aligns best with your playstyle. Note that it is always possible to change classes and reassign skill points in Ilian, so feel no pressure to commit to a single playstyle. You are free to experiment with any class you want during your adventure. Uh, well, I would like the one where I can use what I've got, actually. We'll see. Study... Studied in battle, strategy, trained in combat, close combat, um, wield swords, wield staff, and staff. Um, so probably not either of those two. I'm probably going to use the sword. Uh, this is piercing strike, purification, and this one is... Venom. This one is Burning Verdict. Okay, it does burning. And this is a range one. Is that a range one? Yes. 
Great's physical protection, physical might. This one is improves critical and evasion. I think this one would be good. I like to poison people. So let's let's look at the skill tree. A spleen for a spleen. Find someone who great. I don't know. You know what? We're we're gonna go with this one. That one. Because I still want to use my sword that I have. Find someone to grant you access to the pits. Um, okay, let's... We don't need that, but we'll go to it anyway. We get those people a bit healed. Ooh, there is a... The Spleen Collector. Okay. Strolling the chaotic fair of the molten moons, you come upon a strange little demon woman. Did it just call me strange? It would seem the little monster is aware of my words, though you know not how. My consciousness spans many planes and hears many voices unheard. Provide an eventuality and I provide you the cause, but not until too late. Uh, pleasure to meet you. A unique hello, but I'll take it. We come from Ilion. My name is Aviana. Yes, the child of iron and sky. You are known to me, to all of us. Apparently we're famous. On this plane, your path is known to me. You come to become strong. The veil vale have hunted you, and in time you intend to hunt back. With that, consider me a help. Corsan nervously takes you aside. This creature bears a mark I recognize. It's a planar demon. Their physical form exists here, but their spirit is fractured across Nevendar and the Four Heavens. Can these planar demons be trusted? I'm a priestess of the High Father. Trusting demons is not really my expertise. You nod in understanding and return to the spleen collector who stares blankly at you, waiting. No one is supposed to know why we've come to Hurik. If you've been spying on us... I trust the consequences of my spying would be severe. But your secret is safe. I am a friend. A help. Be assured. The child of iron and sky. What is that exactly? Not what, but who, and who is you? You are the greatest of the above, and of the below. You are more, so much more. I didn't catch your name. I have many, but am known most for what I am, not who I am. So I am the Collector. You're clearly a well-informed little thing. Tell me about this festival of molten moons. It is a layer upon another. On the surface, it is craven lust, an indulgence of flesh to invoke the alignment of the moons and usher forth three days of night. All right, that's what's on the surface. And below that? Below the surface of anything, darkness lurks. Our festival is no different. If you want me to consider you a help, you'll have to tell me how. You come seeking allies. To find them, you must first find glory. Become champion in the pits. Fight. Win. That was already our plan. But you cannot enter the pits without an advocate. I can be this. But an exchange must be made. I am the collector. And for my work, I am collecting spleens. I need many. It is essential. Did you just say spleens? She definitely did. It is the cost. You are a warrior, are you not? Uh, sure. I was just telling Orion that fighting and drinking are two of my favorite pastimes. This is what we call fortuitous, Collector. You get me into the pits and buy us around? And I get you spleens for whatever it is you do with them. Yes, champion. 
Yes, child of iron and sky. Elsewhere, flesh makes demands. In Hurik, flesh pays for all. You shall see this. As you walk away, you expect Orion to protest, yet he's uncharacteristically serene, a smirk hanging on his face as he walks. Are you actually all right with this, Ori? I'm just happy we're walking away. <laughs> if I hear the word spleen one more time, I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, so I have to collect spleens. This is very similar to actually what we did last time. Uh, okay, well, I guess this is a spleen. You come upon a partially you come upon a particularly burly, particularly drunk troop of Empire soldiers, each marked with a holy sigil of the veil. What's more, they're drinking ale from the plains of widows, where the best barley in Navander, and thus the best beer can be found. I wasn't expecting to see holy hands here. What do you think we should do? The collector wants spleens. They look spleeny. Um, let's do it. Draw your blade. We'll get a jump on them before they see us. All right, yeah, we can do that. Okay, I am missing a person, I think. I'm missing a bunch of people, it looks like. How'd that happen? I'll sneak past them. Okay. Let's you grab with you. Me. You mess with me. How far can she go? Not very far, yeah. actually. Um That is range, though, so I, I can get that. Okay, let's come up here. Yeah, I'm. I feel like I'm missing some people. All right, that's good. Pressing the enemy. Holding the line. <laughs> Breaking the line. On the offensive. <laughs> Holding the line. All right. Breaking the line. Come on, guys. There will be no surrender. My poor guy's gonna die. The line must not break. Wear them down. Okay, so this guy, what's my best option for getting as many as possible? I can't move that far. Maybe right oh, here? I will enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> so that's good. And then we need we need to get here, and I guess I can heal you. But that didn't heal you much, so I probably need to move you out of the way. Alright, how'd that guy get... I think totally healed. Feel the snake's fight. You mess I think I'm gonna lose this me. guy. I mean I could probably heal him. Uh yes, come out. here. You're mine. Yeah, this guy's probably gonna die. We make our stand here. Yeah. We make our stand here. No, he may last. He may last. No. 
Will you just die? Okay. Yeah, I I was gonna move him over here so he could hit two, but he'll get two shots in this way and actually kill somebody. Which is nice. And then this will hit both of them, although not for much. Okay, and she can't do anything else. And I guess we'll just come here. Now I could hit this guy, or I could hit one of those guys. Maybe this guy. Because those should be getting hit. And dude, how are you going to go? You can't go. So we're just going to let you go. I want you to move. But for some reason he can't. not letting him move anywhere. Are they already poisoned? No, they're confused. Okay. I guess we'll poison this guy. I would like to be able to move, but apparently that's not possible. On the offensive. So he's gonna die. March on. I'm gonna have to buy myself some more people. Okay. Let's Feel get rid of you. Fight. I think we're getting good at this. And then I'll sneak past them. Okay. Let's move. And this little so, snake the thing. The liberator reigns. Uh We'll go here. Holding the line. I think they're stuck right there, so you will serve me in time. Bones are for crushing. Okay. How'd that come back to me? I wish I got to keep these guys when I was done with them. Okay. Although they they don't have much power. Rally troops. All right. Now you see me. We're stuck. I am your Diana of Ilion. All right, so he needs to be healed. So I guess let's do that. Her attack doesn't help that much anyway. Okay. Now this guy, what's this one? Oh, that's just speed. Okay, that's good. And then... We've just got this one guy left. There will be no surrender. And then we will have spleens. <laughs> that is not helping at all. Death, rebirth, and death again. Feel his wrath. You die today. Okay, this guy can wait. I'm pretty Stand sure we'll end up killing this guy totally. Yeah. Okay, I did lose this guy. Uh, I didn't have a thing set up for zombies anyway, so... Um... He was below everyone because I couldn't train him. The soil below groans in sublime pleasure as it drinks the blood spilt upon it. You stand back in horror as the holy hand and his men are consumed. 
One by one, the skin is sucked away, then the flesh and blood, finally the bones, all of it sucked into the mud somehow. Only a few small organs remain. The collector should be happy. You may be the promise... It may be the promise made. It may be the ale. Either way, you find yourself collecting the strange giblets and putting them in a sack. Ew. Gross. Let's go to the health fountain. Because we definitely need it. Uh, we need to go back to Ilian. Because I am definitely short on people. So we need to get some people. And I might want to change the people that I have. See, I can get the specter. But I'll look and see what... What I can get. And what I can change some of these things out for. Because, like, I have the... Them right here. They're not very good, though. Like, they're not very strong, but they have a healing thing, which is helpful, and they're long range. And then I do have these. And they are also long range, which I like. These right here are the war priestesses. I only have one in the back, so maybe I want one. Um... To actually fight. That so calls forth pure divine energy around the war priestess dealing divine damage from enemies. Maybe that. Yeah, let's get one of these. And then we'll train them up. It's going to take a minute to train them up. But yeah, we can get the War Priestess, train her up. We do need some more iron. We're only at 3,000 of the iron. So we do have to find an iron mine or something. We've got plenty of gold and plenty of wood. I mean, I guess we could always buy the iron. Okay, so we've got that maxed. Let me go to my party. So I can move them in, and I can... I don't think I can move her in yet. I can only have two companions at a time. I can have this one in. I don't know if I can have more than that. We'll, we'll try it. I am going to go ahead and just end this episode here, though. And then we'll get back to spleen collecting in the next one. Uh, but yeah, that is everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!